Invincible Season 2 got a major cast update, with its first trailer confirming a massive number of actors that will play a part in the Amazon Prime video show, becoming one of the most highly rated superhero shows of the modern era after its 2021 debut, Season 2 of Invincible looks to come back with a vengeance when it begins streaming on November 3rd. Invincible is led by Steven Yoon as the young superhero Mark Grayson, who operates under the name Invincible after gaining his powers at 17 years old. Boasting abilities like super strength, super speed, and flight, Mark learns to find his place as one of the world's most powerful heroes while doing his best to maintain his humanity and sense of good. Steven Yoon is perhaps best known for his role as Glenn Ree on The Walking Dead, and he's also set to make his MCU debut in 2024's Thunderbolts as the immensely powerful Sentry. Zazie Beetz adds to her cache of superhero projects with her role as Amber Bennett, Mark's school classmate who eventually becomes his girlfriend. Going through a redesign from the comics to match Beetz more closely, she also boasts impressive intelligence and intuition, even figuring out Mark's superhero identity all on her own. As mentioned, Beetz is a regular in the superhero world having played the role of Domino in 20th Century Fox's Deadpool 2 and appearing as Sophie Demond in both of Joaquin Phoenix's Joker movies, Samantha Eve Wilkins, a.k.a. Adam. Eve is voiced by Jillian Jacobs as she embodies a matter, energy-manipulating superheroine that formerly was part of both the Teen Team and the New Guardians roster. Eve actually quits the team after her ex-boyfriend cheats on her with another heroine, moving toward more humanitarian actions in order to find purpose in her life. J.K. Simmons' Omni-Man is Mark's superpowered father, who's been a superhero across the galaxy for more than a millennium. Considered the most powerful superhero on the planet, Omni-Man also proves to be one of the most dangerous heroes out there, too, even going so far as to kill the entire Guardians of the Globe team at the end of Season 1. Along with his efforts in award-winning films like Whiplash and La La Land, Simmons is also known for his place in the greater Marvel Universe, playing J. Jonah Jameson in both Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy and in the MCU. Sandra O's oh Debbie Grayson plays an important role as Mark's mother, working as an experienced and successful realtor while serving as the one human member of this superfamily. Long adjusted to life being married to a superhero, she eventually winds up a drunken mess by the end of season one after seeing her husband betray their beliefs and mission. Seth Rogen will be back as Alan the Alien, shown in season one to be an assessor of member world candidates for the Coalition of Planets. He also ends up in a short tussle with Invincible near the moon's orbit before realizing he went to the wrong planet when he attempted to head to Earth. Rogan was part of the highly celebrated The Super Mario Brothers movie as Donkey Kong, and he serves as an executive producer on Amazon Prime Video's The Boys. Walton Goggins' Cecil Stedman serves as the director of the Global Defense Agency, a clandestine organization that puts superhero responses in place and uses advanced tech to speed up recovery and resuscitation post-death. Stedman himself possesses a long-range personal teleporter and actually inducts Invincible into the world of heroes at the start of his young career. Jason Manzoukas' Rex Sloan has the ability to charge potential energy into anything he touches, creating explosions on a whim. He's selected to be part of the new Guardians roster as he moves up from the teen team, although he's forced to grow up quickly after Omni-Man's actions in Season 1. Carrie Payton's Black Samson is an original Guardian who loses his powers before leaving the team, although he gets a hold of an armored supersuit in order to continue his run as a hero. He winds up hospitalized after a brutal battle, although his powers miraculously return to push his recovery forward before he gets rid of his armor. Veteran voice actor Ross Marquand voices a trio of characters in Season 1 of Invincible as returns in Season 2. This includes a fictionalized version of United States President Abraham Lincoln, who was a former leader of the Guardians before being exposed to a cosmic anomaly and fighting in the Crusades. Rudolph Rudy Connors, played by Zachary Quinto, has a condition that causes his lungs to burn from outside air, forcing him to live in a pod for survival. Although he possesses an advanced set of drones thanks to his immense wealth, he used to lead the teen team, even using other team members' assistance to clone a new body for himself to continue his run as a hero. 
Kevin Michael Richardson pulls double duty in Invincible by playing both Monster Girl and the Mauler twins. Monster Girl can transform into a powerful, masculine-looking ogre, although using her powers forces her human form to look younger with each use, while the Mauler twins are super genius clones of each other that serve as adversaries of the original Guardians. Chris Diamantopoulos has a double dose of roles in this series as Donald Ferguson and Don Seismic. Ferguson serves as a high-ranking GDA agent under Cecil Stedman, who ends up being murdered by Omni-Man. Don Samsik is a demented and powerful super scientist who can cause massive earthquakes, even attacking Mount Rushmore at one point. Mark Hamill plays a unique role in Invincible as Art Rosenbaum, a superhero suit tailor and friend to many of the powered individuals in this story. Being close to Omni-Man, he ends up being hurt deeply by the hero's betrayal in Season 1 falling into a drunken depression. Longtime voice actor Gray Delisle enjoys the spotlight with two different roles in Invincible, playing Shrinking Ray and Amanda. Shrinking Ray is a size-manipulating hero who teams up with the new Guardians, and Amanda is the human form that turns into the previously mentioned Monster Girl. Andrew Rennell's William Clockwell plays an important role as one of the few fully human characters in Invincible, playing a role as Mark Grayson's best friend as well as his civilian confidant. Fred Tatasciore's biggest role on Invincible comes as a supervillain named Kill Cannon, a spot-on name for a character with an arm-mounted laser cannon who did battle with Mark Grayson. He also voices Eve's adopted father, Adam Wilkins, who doesn't approve of his daughter acting as a superhero. Clancy Brown adds yet another dark role to his legacy as he plays Damien Darkblood, a demon detective who escaped hell in order to save his own soul. However, he ends up being sent back to hell by Cecil Stedman to prevent the detective from exposing Nolan as a criminal before the time was right. Invincible Season 2 will introduce a powerful new character named Thetis, played by Peter Cullen, who turns against his evil race of people on Viltrum and rebelled against the Viltrum Empire. He would later use his own DNA as a catalyst for a virus that, unbeknownst to him, caused a mass genocide amongst his people. Reginald Vell Johnson played a couple of minor roles in Invincible Season 1 before returning to the party for Season 2. He voices Mark Grayson's high school principal, Principal Winslow, at the hilariously named Reginald Vell Johnson High School. And he also plays a villain named Tether Tyrant. Phil Lamar adds to the Lizard League roster with a role as Salamander, a smaller character stature-wise with impressive powers as he goes up against heroes like Invincible and Adam Eve. Although he usually winds up being thrown into jail, he's never one to hold back against his enemies with his toxic abilities. Sterling Brown will join the Invincible universe as a character named Angstrom Levy, whose comic counterpart is blessed with incredible portal creation powers that allow him to travel all across the universe and even the multiverse. He uses these powers to keep himself and other versions of himself alive, eventually engaging in numerous fights with Invincible and other heroes. Tatiana Maslany looks to reprise a small role she played in the Adam Eve special, that being Queen Lizard, the leader of the aptly named Lizard League, as that group appears to be back in play for Season 2. Malise Zhao took on the role of Dupli Kate in five episodes from Season 1, with her Guardians of the Globe member being able to make duplicate versions of herself that split off from her original form.